At the corner of Southwest 5th and Yam Hill, you'll find something we haven't seen in a while. The beautiful windows of downtown Portland's Apple Store. It makes me feel like I'm not in a police state anymore. <laughs> and that, you know, they expect people to behave like they should. For much of the last several years, a protective wall was up around the popular store. And for good reason. Civil unrest in the Rose City was resulting in a lot of property damage. More than $18 million in 2021, according to the FBI. Apple wanted to avoid that, so the company put up the walls, but now they're coming down. I hope it can stay down. Yeah, I hope we're in the right direction. I'm encouraged by it, and, and I, I, I hope it continues. While we're certainly seeing signs of hope outside the Apple store, these walls are still up outside the Multnomah County Courthouse. Boards are still up at the Justice Center. The county telling us it could be more than a year before the design phase to protect these buildings is complete. The reality is we know that they're trying to get there, and, and that's what we need people to be doing, is sending a message that we're open. Andrew Hone uh, is the president and CEO of the Portland Business Alliance. He's encouraged by what he's seeing downtown, but he wants to see even more. I think the reality is that what was is not what's going to be, and uh, there's a lot of work that has to happen to get us to a place where this is a 24-7, vibrant, live-work neighborhood. Hone says it starts with workers in the public and private sectors returning to downtown offices. Others point to consumers. People need to come back downtown and support the city and not be afraid of circumstances that are causing them to feel like things is terrible. Clearly, they're not if a company the size of Apple is willing to ditch its barriers. I think it's offensive to the city and everyone to have those barricades up. All right, it's worth mentioning we did reach out to Apple for a statement on the company's decision to drop the walls, and we have not yet heard back. Ashley?